Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Well, here in Connecticut, weather-wise, we're talking about a downward trend in temperature. I want to take you back to last Sunday, Halloween, when it was exceptionally mild. We had a high temperature for the Hartford area of 68 degrees. Since then, 60 Monday, 57 yesterday. Today, a high temperature of only 53, so about 4 degrees below the average high of 57. Tomorrow, of course, even chillier than today. In fact, the stage already being set for temperatures tonight to be colder than last night. We're down to freezing in Putnam 31, uh, Willimantic freezing 32 for Meriden, 37 Groton to 41 for New Haven, 39 currently in our capital city. So certainly chilly. Uh, normal lows 37. Tomorrow morning, some communities waking up in the 20s, and we've got a light northerly breeze around three to eight miles an hour, if not calm, and that is under a clear sky. So star filled out there with our view from Hartford, great visibility uh, from our capital city uh, to coastal southeast Connecticut uh, looking clear and quiet really all across the region. We do have some cloud cover uh, clipping perhaps coastal Connecticut and across the sound. That is all uh, complements of a stalled frontal boundary to our south. A wave of low pressure will continue to develop off the Carolinas and move well to the southeast of Connecticut as it heads out to sea. So as that happens tomorrow, we'll tend to see an increase in cloud cover. In the meantime, we're mainly clear. Temperatures bottom out in the mid and upper 20s throughout western in Northwest Connecticut. If we're able to hit 32 or lower in the Hartford area, it will be our first time to do so uh, since Earth Day back on April 22nd. So just kind of speaking to the magnitude of this chilly air that we're experiencing or will experience, uh, upper 20s, low 30s throughout to the quiet corner along the shoreline, 33 to 35 as we're forecasting temperatures to bottom out. So tomorrow morning we'll see some sunshine and then hear those clouds during the course of the afternoon as that storm center again passes well to the southeast of Connecticut. So highs tomorrow. Uh, some towns may struggle to reach the 50 degree mark. We're going to say 45 to 50 inland, low 50s along the 95 corridor. And then a check of our Friday. We're looking great. Lots of sunshine from when it rises to when it sets, but the theme will continue for below normal temperatures as we close out the week. So we'll hit rock bottom temperature wise Saturday morning as high pressure builds right overhead. So that will lead to a clear sky and a diminished wind with plenty of dry air in place. We're talking about a, a, a widespread hard freeze across Connecticut and we'll start start the day with some sunshine. We'll likely end the day with sunshine. Another storm system tracks to the southeast of Connecticut Saturday night into Sunday. Could spread some cloud cover across southern New England, but notice those shades of green and yellow. The rain staying well offshore from us as we close out the weekend. In fact, as we head from the weekend into early next week, temperatures will start trending back above average. If you're perhaps looking for something to do this weekend, want to do a little leaf peeping, the weather cooperates and so will the show of colors here across our state. You don't have to travel far. Moderate color from the shoreline to peak color along the northwest of 84 and as well in uh, the quiet corner of northeast Connecticut. So an early morning seven day forecast for Friday. We'll start off again at or below freezing highs near 50. Lots of sunshine Saturday. The coldest morning mid and upper 20s 55 that afternoon. Some clouds Saturday night into early Sunday. Then we'll see a mix of sun and clouds on Sunday upper 50s and then next week. We trend warmer, low 60s Monday, mid 60s Tuesday. Front moves through on Wednesday, could knock temperatures down a bit. Can't roll out a shower by next Wednesday. Shoreline highs this weekend, 56 Saturday, near 60 Sunday afternoon.